Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is very, very important, okay? So the last couple of days have been fun, but this is, this will be fun. It's just, you really gotta concentrate, okay? So make it entertaining. Calls loud and clear. It's good theater, people enjoy it. You've gotten, you've gotten good at it, you've gotten good at it. You're getting good at it. Just get theatrical about it. There are lots of people here. There's a lot of effort going to get you right. All right, good luck. Say hello, say hello, say hello, ladies and gentlemen. Come and join me in the Inglis Auditorium. The role of the bid spotter is obviously imperative to the success of a live auction. And I'm sure to some it looks a bit intimidating too. If you've attended an English sale in Sydney or Melbourne, you may have noticed the bid spotters team meeting that takes place each sale day. In fact, there's one happening behind me right now. If you're like me and have wondered what exactly it is English CEO Sebastian Hutch is saying to the troops, well keep watching this episode of English Insights because we go behind the scenes in these team meetings and also take a closer look at what a bid spotter what his role entails. Yo! Yo! Yes! Who are we missing? Have we got everyone? Laura Winks. Where's Laura Winks? Jane, Harry Bennett's. Where's Harry Bennett's? Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Everybody, this is like a celebrity bid spotter. Do you recognize everybody from yesterday? Anybody you saw yesterday that you don't see now? Well, look, everybody's here, so we might as well start. Okay, come closer. I don't know why everybody always stands so far away. Don't come too close. <laughs> Dear God. Yeah. The pep talk, the G up. <laughs> it's great. It's good. It's good. It's a good little talk. I always appreciate, you know, the G ups beforehand. They're very important in all seriousness, though. It, you make sure that you're, you're prepared for the day. It's also a reminder to be on the ball, and these days are really important, not just for the buyers and vendors. So it's really just a reminder and a good team preparation altogether. Yes, it was really excellent. Like we talked about doing certain things, everybody did it. You know, some of the theatrics yesterday were fantastic. <laughs> but just keep it up, it'll be a long day, so. You want to try and keep the enthusiasm up. People enjoy it. Like you've all seen, people enjoy the sense of theatre. You know, people get something out of it, encourages people to go again. Be very conscious of providing some entertainment. Engage with the buyers. It's fun, but it's a high pressure time for people as well. So when you're interacting with them, just be sensitive to what the circumstances might be, you know? Like you'll get a bit of a feel for who's responding well to your encouragement and who isn't. So just have that in the back of your mind. You get a bit of a feel, be respectful with your chit chat, but like at the same time you encourage people, have another bid, you want to go again. As from an auctioneer's point of view, they're really the extension of us into the crowd. You know, sometimes we sell in big auditoriums and you can't see everyone's face in the room and you can't exactly pinpoint, you know, if they're doing little sneaky bids or whatnot, you can't see who the bidder is. And so we really rely on the bid spotter to, you know, eke out another bid or two from the buyers and yeah, it all adds to the, you know, the theatre of the sale. Roberto, what are we doing? 60? Yep. 50,000. 55 gin, 60, beautiful. We can see those tables that have that kind of budget. And make sure you sort of look at them and see if they've got any interest or if they want to take a bid. Yo! One more. Make it 100. It's out the back. A lot of hand throwing, you've got to look left and right, you've got to make sure you're catching people. Some, some buyers love to hide in their particular spots, some like hiding behind corners. Eventually after some time you do understand and learn how they like to bid. As much as it's challenging, it's also very rewarding at the same time. Just with the sign up, just make sure, like Norel gets really grumpy if this isn't done properly and nobody wants to deal with Norel grumpy. As you'll see, Norel is the most pernickety about the sign up, so like just, if you can keep Norel happy through the day, it's good standard to set. <laughs> if you're signing up and spare, you know, watch the auction. You know, if you happen to see a bid, by all means, like there's no special qualification to be a bid spotter. If you see a bid, call it out. But if you call out a bid as a sign up person, arm up and be loud. Make sure the sign up people know where to go. You know, you were guilty a couple of times yesterday of sort of patting yourself on the back and say, I've done a fantastic job spotting the bid, but not making sure somebody went to sign it up. It doesn't count if you don't get it signed up, okay? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Listen to the auctioneer. If the auctioneer says you're out, arm down. You gotta listen. Like it's, it looks ridiculous if we have the auctioneer seeing arms up either side of the auditorium and bid spotters both thinking it's their bid. If you're not sure, turn to the clerk, who's the assistant, and just say, is it me or who's it with? The auctioneer will tell you very quickly. 
Oh yeah, write down anybody who bids. That's and if there's it's bloody important, especially if horses pass in. Jeez, it's important. We like them to keep a record of who's bid on horses. You know, they might not, the buyer might not end up buying the horse, but if we know that Joe Bloggs has bid to 60,000 on a horse that might make 100,000 and he hasn't bought at the end of the day, then we can, you know, then approach him and see if there's any passed in lots that he might like or if there's a similar horse in the catalogue that we can put him onto. And, you know, we run through all these things in bid spotting meetings in the morning, go through our buyers, who's bought, what's passed in, who we can get on a horse. So it's all important to keeping that flow smoothly and getting some extra sales done. Bidding loud and clear, arm up, you know the goal. Yes! Yo! Yo! So it gets quite tense at times, but also a little bit thrilling. Well, we're a service, you know, we're putting on a horse sale, but you want to be entertaining at the same time. It's a, they can be long days for the buyers, long days for the vendors, you know, long days for us, so. To keep it entertaining and exciting is very important. You know, you'll get to meet a lot of nice people today. If you sell a horse to someone, you knock a horse down, don't be afraid to go up and say thank you or well done. It's a chance to meet important people. So two of you will be here, two of you will be there, and two will be on the floor. You can basically work it out wherever you want to go on the floor. You know, Sam and Emily are like a sort of weird sort of double act. It's really good, uh, but it's, it's good. Laura's got her arms flapping. Georgie and Jess have a strange thing going on. It's good. So everybody know where they are, everybody clear. The stuff is the same as usual, right? Clear, loud, be entertaining. Oh, it's been a massive year for Inglis. You know, record sales across the board, record turnover. And the bid spotters play an integral part in that. Everybody should really enjoy it. Let your positivity rub off or rub off on everybody else. Just really enjoy the day. You know, get a bit of movement going. You know, try and keep your energy up. Otherwise, just enjoy it. It'll be, it'll be really entertaining. There are a lot of important people here. Anybody, everybody cool? Everybody get it? Other than that, I really can't think of anything else to say other than thank you and have a good day. Okay? Okay. Enjoy the day, everyone. And, uh, yeah, touch wood, everything goes okay. Okay, good luck. Yeah, that one.